Hello. So what's your name, my darling? My name's Boo. Ah! <laughs> 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 After that wonderful match, I was very irritated and scrambled for a solution. I foddered a unit that had Blue Feud into Claude to deal with any pesky veils. Fortunately, she didn't show up for a majority of matches. Most of my opponents attempted to Omni Tank, but Veil shows up for game 8 and 9, so skip to that section if you want to watch Claude get revenge on Veil. This opponent has rearmed Sonya, Sather, Altina, Elamine, Dimitri, and Edelgard. Here they get into the range of the Rallying Cry, Warp Charge, Flyers, the Far Save is unsuccessful. And the Omni tanking is unsuccessful. Freyr and Soren then reposition the flyers back, and it's over. In this next game, there's Haether, Elamine again, Duo Anna, Robin, Hector, and Plumeria. Since the opponent was unable to get in to attack the team turn one, Gatekeeper remains untouched, and it allows for Sorin's assigned decoy to activate. The opponent steps into my traps. Welcome. Need help? Heal all you want, Anna. Soren gets his hands dirty, taking out duo Anna.
and Gatekeeper gets into the action as well. Ready, Serena? Here we go! Deirdre, my love. Lord Sigurd. So this Veil team looks pretty intimidating. A Hall of Forms Claude, plus five. <laughs> and um, the non-threat Thor. And here's why I like this forest map. The cavalry and infantry units like Ira can't come in for their usual hit and run strategy. Since they came in on their turn one, my assigned decoy has not yet activated, and Claude is not protected. I don't think this is the most optimal build for Robin, but even if he had the other skills and tried to warp in, he couldn't because of Gatekeeper, preventing his warping anyway. I think the Spring Maria looks really, really cool. It's high investment, there's Ruptured Sky, Distant Reversal, Guard Bearing 4, Smeed Smoke 4, and really adorable artwork. And I finally see Blue Feud 3 in action. Lethality triggered. This week, the newly released Veil showed up 3 out of 9 matches. 
I did better than expected for offense and defense, and I made it to tier 28 by the end of it. Nine defenses, eight successful, one unsuccessful against Vale in the first match. Truthfully, I don't want to run Blue Feud. I like these stat buffs from Claude's Oath 4 skill, but I did give Mirabilla's Home Flyers to give Invisible Attack Speed plus 6 at the start of turn at least. For the matches where she doesn't start off next to him, I forgot to give her another skill. I need to do some more testing with the duo harmonic units I have, so I can put duo's hindrance on the map. I got lucky in all of the games where the duo skill activated, and it did nothing for the opponent. Do I think Veil vale will be a threat based on my defense replays? I think it's too early to tell, I'll need to see how other players fared against her. If you faced her this week, let me know how your defense team went against her. IS is slowly coming up with new ways to stop Hinoka and Claude. But what I am sure is, I felt safer having Blue Feud on Claude. And again, please join me in demanding US Congress for a ceasefire, ending military aid to Israel, and in supporting BDS movement demands to reject Israel's ongoing settler colonialism and apartheid against Palestine and the Palestinian people. Links are in the description with letter scripts and free educational resources. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you!